So let's uh, start our class, guys. We have only 13 students. Eight of you are not here, so that's why I'm going to record the class. Maybe they um, have problems with accessing the platform. And I'm going to send this recording to them so they can receive the class with video. So let's bow your heads, close your eyes, please, and let's pray. Dear Jesus in heaven, Thank you for this new opportunity that you have given us today, a new day, um, a new class. Also, we are starting a new period, the third partial, the third period, and we are asking you to help us to um, advance in this class, to get all the knowledge that we have to get about the language and grammar of English, um, English idiom. So be with us this day protect our families and continue with us during the class. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Okay, guys, so let me share now my computer for you to see the presentation. Can you see the presentation? Yes. 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 Okay, let me see how can I do to see you in the presentation also. Okay, do you see the presentation and also Microsoft Teams? Can you see the presentation complete or not? No, no, it's complete. Uh, it's no, because no. I have... <sighs> yes. Okay. Otras veces lo que hago es que conecto mi televisor a la computadora y en el televisor los miro a ustedes y en la computadora miro la presentación, pero hoy no lo hice. Ok, cájete el oficio. Ah, bueno, vamos a hacerlo de otra manera. Voy a irme a lo tradicional y voy a buscar. Déjenme, déjenme buscar primero la lista porque voy a tener que hacerlo de la manera tradicional. Ok. Voy a guiarme mediante mi lista en físico. Mediante esta lista, entonces, yo lo voy a llamar para participar, para poder minimizar esta y ustedes puedan ver la presentación. Ok. So, welcome to language class. Today we are going to learn about possessives and demonstratives. So, I want you to go to page 100. We are going to start chapter 7 today. So let's go to page 100. Okay, are you in there? Yes. Okay. Yes. So right now, guys, we are in a situation in which we cannot see each other, right? We cannot go out, we cannot visit our friends, we cannot hang out with our friends in the mall, or in a restaurant. So, tell me, how do you communicate with your friends nowadays, or now in this situation that we are in a pandemic? How do you communicate wow. with By call? What else? By WhatsApp? What other social media do you use to communicate? Do you use Facebook to communicate with others? No, but Instagram, no. yes. Instagram? Some, some of you have Instagram, some others maybe Facebook or Messenger, or even I, real, I realized some weeks ago that you can chat by Pinterest also, or by Snapchat. Snapchat? Snapchat. Well, whatever. So there is a lot of media or social network that you can use to communicate. And here, in page 100, we have two friends. They are separated. They are in different places. And they communicate, but using what? What do you see? What do you see here they are using to communicate? What is this? 
is WhatsApp or Facebook or email or what? Someone email. there is an email, right? They communicate by email. So I want, I'm going to, Chelsea is not here, right? Nor Gabby. No. Okay. So I'm going to ask one. One is going to be Alan and the other is going to be Koji. Alan is going to be a boy. So I'm going to ask Daniel Martinez. Daniel Martinez, read what Alan grow to Koji. Read this part of here. Where me? Page. Ah, do you have the pages, uh, Daniel? Um, yes. Do you have your book? No, only the pages. Ah, okay. ah but ah, and how did you get the pages? Because I didn't. Then, really? This, this one? one? No. Only ah. This. But can you can you read from here for the from the computer? Um, I think so. Let's try. Okay, okay, let's try. Thanks for the. No, I. <laughs> okay, okay. Sorry, Daniel. I it's will say. I can read, please. I can read. Who is um? Who is talking? Albert. I I Albert. Okay, Albert, help me reading. Daniel, I will send you the pages today, okay? Okay, so, thanks. And Elibet also, but Elibet is not here, right? Hey, Alan, don't worry about the Spanish. I can seem so bad. My job is great. No much money, but fantastic people, and I am no... Sorry, Sorry Albert. In what? page one, in page one hundred, this part. Where are the one hundred? Uh huh. Hi, Koji. Thanks for the pictures from the graduation and ceremony. They they're up on my wall already. School is okay, but I'm a little lonely. Jack is remote. Is lucky. A lot of Jack's high school friends are here. Two mine, one no, one million no, one thousand, one thousand meals away. My classes are okay. My interesting, interesting, and the other classes aren't difficult. Prepare for Spanish. Senorita Vasquez, my teacher, is fine. It's, it, it isn't her fault. It's probably mine. Mine, my accent is terrible and I'm embarrassed to speak in class. My grades are okay in other subjects. And I, I am two Bs. But I uh, see in, in Spanish. How you you drop, Alan? Okay, now I need a Koji to answer to Alan. So Yvette, help me reading the part of Koji here. Abby? Yes. Okay, help me reading this part. The, the part of Koji answering to Alan. Hey Alan, don't worry about the panic. I see it's not so bad. My job is great. Not much money, but fantastic people. And I am now a proud owner of the eating. I am my big 
Weekends are good. My roommates and are quiet. Hans is told me when get more home. Good. Okay, so here we have two friends that are communicating by using emails. Here we have the vocabulary words. So the first vocabulary word is bio. And what is bio? Bio is an abbreviation for biology. Okay, so who is receiving biology class? Alan or Koji? Koji is this one of here and Alan, Alan is Alan, Alan, Alan. Alan? Alan. Ah, yes, yes, Alan, yes. Alan is this one and Koji is this one, sorry. Alan is receiving bi uh, biology class. Then we have another word that can be confused because it's very alike with one word that we use in Spanish but have different meaning, embarrassed. So when I was learning English, I thought embarrassed was uh, a woman that was going to have a baby. Yes, but, I think that right now. <laughs> but it's not that. In English, we have some words that are called false cognates, false cognates, false cognates. Why? Because they look very similar to some words in Spanish, but they are not the same meaning. Embarrassed in English is to be ashamed or shame about something. For example, when someone gets red because some others uh, said something that was uh, embarrassed, apenado, okay? Embarrassed is when you feel uncomfortable or ashamed. Fault, responsibility for a mistake. For example, if you are um, playing with a ball and I don't hit the ball and accidentally, accidentally, he broke a, a flower base from his house. Is what, it, let, me, let me say that was Aaron and Daniel playing. Who was the fault of, Daniel or Aaron? Who has that responsibility for that mistake? And Daniel or Aaron, who hit the ball? Daniel. D Daniel. Oh, <laughs> Aaron, right? So, so you are, uh, maybe your mama is going to say, no, Aaron, it's your fault because you hit the ball. Okay? Your fault, your, your responsibility. Here we have a phrase, hang in there. Hanging there means be patient. So Koji was saying to Alan, hang in there, call me when you get home. Because Koji was like, um, eh, sorry, Alan was like worried about the classes, especially Spanish class, because he got a C. So Alan said, don't worry. Uh, Koji said, sorry, don't worry, hang in there, be patient. Then we have subjects. Subjects are the um, areas of a study, for example, math, history, biology, language. So in college, how many subjects do you have? Are all the classes that you receive? Computer, math, Spanish, social studies, language, history, and so on. And a sub, S-U-V, means sport utility vehicle. Is a very large beehive called that is very similar to a band. Do you know what which one are the bands, right? So a soft is very similar to a band. So now, guys, I'm going to ask to some of you to help me answering with T for true or F for false for each one of these statements. Number one is already done for you. Alan is lonely. That is true. Or is false? Here we have it, it's true. Uh, according to what you read. So let's see number two. Ana Raquel. Jack is Alan's roommate. True or false? Jack is Alan's roommate. It's true. True, excellent, it's true. Let me see. 
see. Okay, there we have it. By here we can see, look, Jack, my roommate, is lucky. So, Jack Please, is I want to read roommate. the next one and, and say you the... I want to read Miss Aaron. Aaron, okay, Aaron. Tell me number three. Read and tell me the answer. Spanish is hard for Aaron. True. True. See? Yes, it's true. Excellent. Number four, Natalie. Natalie Nieto. Read and tell me the answer. Natalie, are you there? I can read again, Miss. Wait, let me see someone else. Natalie Serrato. Turn on your microphone, read number four, and give me the answer. Are you there, no, Natalie? Only, only Natalie Nieto. Okay, and uh, Natalie Nieto, turn on your microphone and read and tell me the answer. No puede, pero okay. Okay, Michelle, help me you, Michelle. Michelle? Okay. 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 Koji um, doesn't like his new job. It's false. It's false. Excellent, Michelle. It's false. Number five. Um, Abby. Koji enjoys his weekend too. Okay. What do you say, the others? I want you to read in here. Remember that this one is Koji. He falls, he falls, he falls. Read in here. But my weekends are dull. What is dull? Something dull is something bored. So, Koji enjoys his weekends, true or false? False. It's false, right? I'm huh? sorry. It's false. Here it's false. I grow true, but it's false. Because here you can, uh, this is a finger mistake. Here you can read, my weekends are dull. So this one is false. Okay, let me see if I can correct here right now. With a pluma, and we are going to write false. false. Okay, there it is. And the last one, Koji has a red sock, true or false? True. That one is true. Here we can say, I am the proud owner of a red sock. Okay, so it's true. Okay, so let's go to the next page. But uh, before going to the next page, mm. we are going to see what possessive nouns, possessive adjectives are. First, we are going to remember that a noun is or are, nouns are people, places, things, animals, or ideas. For example, a girl is a noun because it's a person. School is a noun because it's a place. Pencil is a thing. Raccoon is an animal. And dream is an idea, like love or a feeling. Okay? So, do you remember what nouns are? places, people, things, and animals, and ideas. So knowing that, now I want you to remember that a possessive noun, it's a noun that shows ownership. That means the noun is the owner of something else. For example, in here, what can you see in the picture? What do you see in the picture? Can you see the picture? Mm. 
Hello, son bonitas. Y seis dos. Okay. Now in here, a mountain and in here. Taylor Sweet. Okay, so let's read the sentences. The teacher's dog. That means that this dog belongs to the teacher. Now, here we, we can see the mountain's peak or the peak of the mountain, the, the highest part, this part of here of the mountain, the mountain's peak. Here we can say Taylor's guitar. The guitar belongs to Taylor. So these ones, the ones that are in yellow, teachers, mountains, tailors, are the possessive nouns. Why? Because they are the owner of something. The teacher belong, uh, belongs the dog, mountains belong the pig, and tailors belong the guitar. But also, guys, we can have possessive adjectives. Remember that these uh, weeks before, we were talking about adjectives that are words that describe nouns, and they come before the nouns. And a possessive adjective is one that is going to say to whom a noun belongs. For example, let's read this sentence that we have in here. You can see the picture. It's a boy in a car. And here he's saying, I like my car. So here we have the noun. Car is the noun. But this, na this uh, noun, if we say only car, we can ask, who is the car? Oh, uh, to whom belongs the car? So we are going to say the car belongs to this boy of here. So he says, I like my car. This one is the possessive adjective. Why? Because it's describing the car. It's describing who is the owner of the car. I like my car. I like my cell phone. Or, okay, or I can say, um, Avi, I like your hair, okay? The noun is the hair, but by using your hair, I am saying that the hair belongs to, to you. Do you understand this part? Guys, yeah, are you with yeah. me? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so let's go now to... 100, 102, page 102. And in there I have these sentences. It says, read the sentences and complete the task below. I will ask to Chelsea. I saw that Chelsea already is here. So Chelsea read, 1A and 1B. Turn on your microphone and read 1A and 1B. Okay, Chelsea, read 1A and 1B. My roommate's friends are quiet. And my roommate's friends are quiet. They are not missing. Okay. In, in this one, it, it was missing this part. He's noisy. Okay. So, in number one, this part of here says, categorize. Look at the sentences 1A and 1B. Look at the underlying possessive nouns. Here we have the ones that are underlined. Roommate, roommates, and roommates. Which one of this one is singular and which one is plural? 1A or 1B? 
roommates or roommates? Which one is singular and which one is plural? Let me see. What do you think? Daniel, Daniel. Okay, one B is what? Plural or singular? Plural. Plural. And one A? Singular. Singular. And how do you know? How do you know that one A is singular and one B is plural? Because in one A is his and in one B is there. Uh -huh. That one is a, a possible answer. It's okay. Thank you, Abby. But there is another one that you can look at. Very, very good analysis, Abby. That is a very good answer, and it's okay. But there is another way in which we can know that is singular or plural. Who can because, tell us? Because uh -huh. of the apostrophe. Excellent. It has to do with the apostrophe. For example, here, let me write roommate. By here. Sorry for my letter, but in this um, way of writing is very difficult. Looking here, guys, the apostrophe in S is not telling me that that one is plural. It's just telling me that something belongs to the roommate. So if we see what we have before the apostrophe, what do we have before the apostrophe? Only roommate in singular. So if we take out these, do I have a singular or plural? A singular, right? Roommate. But what happened with the other ones? With the other one, we have room mates. And the apostrophe is after the S. <clears throat> that means that before the apostrophe, I have roommate. If I take out the apostrophe, look, I have roommates. So it's plural. So in that way, you can know, looking before what you have before the apostrophe, you can know if it's plural or singular. Did you get it? Did you understand this part? Yes. Okay. Okay, so, okay. Um, here I am reading Natalie Nieto. He, she has a problem with the microphone. Okay, if you have some problems with the microphone and I ask something to you, you can use the chat to answer, okay? But if you can use the microphone, better the microphone because in that way you can practice also talking in English. But don't worry, Natalie, okay? Thank you for, for notifying me your problem. Okay, now, Daniel, read for me. Well, I don't know if you can read here. Can yes, you see? Yes, I can, I can. Okay, 2A and 2B, read the two sentences. Uh, my brother is tall, I'm short, 2B. Their, bro their brother is tall, they are short. Okay, so in here, it says that we have to look for the possessive adjectives. Remember that the possessive adjectives come directly before nouns. So, first, let's look for the nouns in sentence 2A and 2B, and then we are going to look before and we are going to uh, find the possessive adjectives. So, in 2A, which one is the noun? Which one is the noun in 2A? My brother is tall, I'm short. In that sentence, brother is brother. Excellent. Brother is the noun, so we are going to underline the noun. If brother is the noun, which one is the, the possessive adjective? What do we have before 
brother. My. My. Okay. So my is the possessive adjective and brother is the noun. Why my is possessive? Because I am saying is my brother, not yours. My brother. Okay? So that is possessive adjective. It's describing uh, to whom bro uh, uh, or what person is the brother of that other one. And to be, which one is the um, noun? Their brother is tall, they are short. Which one is the noun? Brother again, brother. And which one is the possessive noun? A possessive adjective, sorry. There. Remember that is before the noun. Their brother. Their brother. Okay? So it's not my brother or our brother, it's their brother. So these adjectives, my and their, are describing the relationship or possess, possession. Okay, guys. Now, in the same page, you are going to find these charts that you have in here. Sometimes looking at the charts and the grammar parts is not so good as going directly to the examples. So by here we have the examples. Karen's friend is nice. If you can see, here we have the noun that is Karen. Then we have apostrophe S because something or someone belongs to Karen or has a relationship with Karen. So here we are saying that the friend of Karen, not a friend of Chelsea, not the friend of Aaron, Karen's friend is nice. It's singular because we are talking about how, how do you know that it's singular? Not because of friend, it's because the possessive noun. If you see here, we are talking about only about only Karen, one Karen. Karen's friend is nice. Or my sister's friend is nice. Even though you listen as plural, if you can see before the apostrophe, we have sister in singular. So that's why this one is singular. But by the other side, we have the plural one, the plural form, the students, classroom is small. What is the difference? Before the apostrophe, you can see that we have the plural. Students. But in here, we only use apostrophe. Why not apostrophe S? And again in here, look, teachers. This one is plural. Teachers is plural. But it has apostrophe. The teacher's classroom. Aha, uh -huh. so we, we are inducing the rules. But looking here, this one is plural also. The women's apartment is bright and sunny. If we look before the apostrophe, here we have women more than one, because only one is woman. But in here we have apostrophe S. And by here also, look. Children's classes are interesting. And here we have the apostrophe. So what rule can we induce? Look, apostrophe S for singulars. Apostrophe S for irregular nouns. Remember that these ones are irregular. That's why they have apostrophe S. And the only one that you are going to add only apostrophe is to all the other plural nouns that are regular nouns. But if they are singular or if they are irregular plural nouns, you have to add apostrophe S. So we are going to see that one very quick in here. 
Singular possessive nouns show that one person or one animal or a place or a thing has or owns something. Here we have a boy with his dog. We can say the dog of the boy is brown, but if we use possessive, we have to say the boy's dog is brown. So look that first we have the owner. Who is the owner? The boy, right? The boy. Then we write apostrophe S to show that something belongs to the boy. What belongs to the boy? The dog. The dog. Okay. So remember, first we are going to write the owner and then what belongs to that person or to that place. For example, if I say that this marker belongs to Natalie Nieto, can you see the marker that I have in my hand, on my hand? Can yes. you look at it? Okay, so here I have a marker and we are going to suppose that this marker belongs to Natalie Nieto. Tell me the sentence using using possessive noun. How can we say that? Is who is the owner? Okay. Is Natalie? Natalie Natalie is with like this. Is Natalie's yes. marker? We can say, or a uh, Natalie's marker is is um black, or Natalie's marker is ugly, or Natalie's marker uh, Mat Natalie's marker does not work. The important thing is that you write the owner first, the owner, then the apostrophe, and s if it's singular, and then what belongs to Natalie. In this case is Natalie's marker. So there we have another sentence, but we are not going to do it now. In plural, here we have some students. Can you see the students? Here, and we have a house. We can say my friend's house is yellow. Look the plural. Here we have the owners of the house that are my friends it's plural because before the apostrophe we have a plural noun friends and then here we have what belongs to my friends the house belongs to my friends so we say my friend's house is yellow let's go to the other one so how to show possession guys if it's singular noun, apostrophe s. For example, verse song is going to be verse song or the song of the bird. Singular in here. Look before the apostrophe, it's singular. And the song belongs to the bird. Plural. If the plural is a regular noun or end with s, you are going to add only apostrophe. For example, dogs, food. Here we have a plural noun that ends in S. So we, are, we only add apostrophe. And we are saying that the food belongs to the dogs. If we have a plural noun that does not end with S or that is irregular noun, for example, we have to add apostrophe S. Children, children toys. How do we say? Children's toys. Here we have the plural. This one tells me that the toy belongs to the children. Okay, do you understand this part, guys? Okay, so making a summary, 
with singular nouns and plural but irregular nouns, we add apostrophe S. And with plural but that end with S, we add only apostrophe. And that is the rule. So we are going to avoid this practice because of the time. And let's go directly to this part. Listening for forum. In here, guys, what you are going to choose is if, it's, if you listen a possessive noun or if you listen a possessive adjective or the word whose. And what is whose? I'm going to explain you later, but in here, just I want you to identify if you listen whose or a possessive adjective or a possessive noun. I'm going to play twice the audio for you to verify. So it's in page 104. Let's all of you go to page 104 and let's listen the, the listening part. Chapter seven, page 104, exercise B1, listening for form. Do you listen? Listen to each sentence. Do you hear a possessive noun? A possess Are you listening, guys? Yes. Yes, me. Okay. Okay. Chapter 7, page 104. Exercise B1. Listening for form. Listen to each sentence. Do you hear a possessive noun? A possessive adjective? Or whose? Check the correct column. One, the students' essays are very good. Two, whose class are you in? Three, Karen's parents are from Honduras. Four, their parents are doctors. Five, who's her teacher? Six, his plan is good. Seven, whose bag is on the floor? Eight. Lynn's friends are in town. Okay, again, for you to verify your answers. Chapter 7, page 104, exercise B1, listening for form. Listen to each sentence. Do you hear a possessive noun, a possessive adjective, or whose? Check the correct column. 1. The students' essays are very good. Two. Whose class are you in? Three. Karen's parents are from Honduras. Four. Their parents are doctors. Five. Who's her teacher? Six. His plan is good. Seven. Whose bag is on the floor? Eight. Lynn's friends are in town. Okay, so I'm going to ask to some of you to tell me the answers. Number one is already done for you. Number one was a possessive noun because number one says the student's essay are very good or something like that. But the... Mr. One, number two. Okay, so let's see. This is a possessive noun because we are saying that, looking here, here we have the noun and with the apostrophe, we are saying that something belongs to the student, the student's essay. So it was a possessive noun. Aaron, tell me number two, possessive noun, possessive adjective or whose? Whose. Okay, number two was, whose class are you in? So it was whose? Excellent, Aaron. Whose? Number three, um, Diego Savillon. Are you here, Diego Savillon? Can you tell me what do you have in number three? Possessive noun, possessive adjective, or whose? Possessive noun. Possessive noun. Let me see. Number three was Karen's parents are from Honduras, I think it was. But the, the part, the interesting part for me is Karen's parents. And it's okay, it's a 
possessive noun. Here we have it, Karen's parents, the parents of Karen. Number four, Albert. What do you have in number four? Okay. Which one? Um, possessive, possessive adjective. Possessive adjective, let me see. Their parents, excellent. Here we have the possessive adjective, their parents are doctors, I think was the sentence. So it's a possessive adjective. Number five, let me see Maria Jose. Are you here, Maria Jose? Tell me, what do you have in number five? Yes. Yes. I have possessive adjective. Possessive adjective. Let me see number five we have. Who's our teacher? So. Are we correct or who's? Is who's, right? Who's, who's our teacher? But even though we have also a possessive adjective, so it's okay, look. Who's our teacher? It can be both. It can be also possessive adjective because in here we have a possessive adjective, our teacher, not your teacher, or not their teacher, our teacher. So there we have also a possessive adjective. It's okay, Maria Jose. So we have who's and also a possessive adjective. Number, ah, oh, well, that one was number five, right? Yes. Number six, let me see. Um, who else is here? Axel is here. Diego Fernando. I saw Diego Fernando here. Tell me, yes. Diego, which one do you have in number six? Possessive noun. Possessive noun. Let me see. Number six was his plan is good. It is a possessive noun or something else? It's a posse possessive adjective. It's a possessive adjective. By this one, look. His plan is not my plan. It's his plan. So it's a possessive adjective, okay? So it's in there. Number seven, is Gaby here? Or Ariana Galindo? What do you have in number seven? Who's? Me, okay. okay, what do you have in number seven? Okay, number seven said, whose bag is on the floor? So it's, yes, and number eight? Possessive noun. Possessive noun, let me see. Possessive Lina's noun. friend, Lina's friend, excellent. It was possessive noun. Okay, guys, we are going to finish with B2. Today we had to work in 100 five also, but because of the time, because it's 10 and 30, we are going to work only to B2. And um, up to you. You tell me if you want 105 as homework or we do it right now. No hay tarea para la otra semana. Pero esta era, la, oh, sorry. <laughs> Página 105 la íbamos a hacer en clase, pero por los problemas que tuvimos al inicio de, eh, de acceso a la plataforma, no, no la pienso realizar ahorita, pero quedaría de tarea. Aunque está la opción de que la podamos realizar ahorita y así ya no tengan tarea. ¿Qué deciden? Opción 1, tarea. Ok, so let's continue quickly. Working on possessive nouns. Complete the sentences with possessive nouns. Use the nouns in parentheses. So here we have an example. In parentheses we have Carol. Book is on the table. So how do we do that one with possessive? Carol is a name and it's singular. So we have to add apostrophe S or only apostrophe? Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S, there you have it. Carol's book is on the table, or the book of Carol is on the table. 
Tell me number two, um, someone of you, how it's going to be number two? Because we have two names, Brad and Jack. Room is messy. There. Their room is messy. Okay, but if you say the room, you are using possessive adjective. And you have to use possessive noun. Okay, it's okay, uh, Daniel. Daniel was right? Yes. It's okay, but, it's, but just that the instruction says possessive nouns. So possessive nouns are the ones that have the apostrophe. So how can you... The in, in what? In Brad or in Jack? Because we have two. In the two, in the two ones. Two. Okay, Daniel says in the two. Someone else? I I think also the in both of them. I think yes, the both. In both. Someone else that says in the first one or someone else that says no me yes, in the last one. one. In the last one. Okay. In the last one. Okay, so we have two two options. To add the um, the adjet, uh, the apostrophe sorry in both of them or just in the last one. And the answer is -da -da -da. we have more than one noun possessing something. The apostrophe is going to be only in the in the last noun. In this case, the last noun is Jack. So we need to have the apostrophe only in Jack. But we are saying with that, we are saying that the room belongs to Bram. To Brad, sorry, and Jack. Brad and Jack's room is messy. Remember that is apostrophe S because uh, even though Brad and Jack are two, they are names. So with names, we add apostrophe S with uh, names of people. This that, third one. Uh, the third one, Mr. Miller desk is in the corner. Apostrophe. Okay, Mr. Miller's like that? Yes. Okay, Mr. Miller's desk is in the corner. Excellent. Michelle, let me see what yes. do you have in number four. Da, in parentheses, you have t-shirts in plural. Office is room 432. To make t-shirts, Possessive noun, you have to add. Look that you have t-shirts yeah, yeah, yeah. Only apostrophe or apostrophe S? Mm, apostrophe S. Okay. So let's see. It's only the apostrophe. Remember that yeah. if, we, if the noun is plural, and it's a, plural, it's a regular plural or ends with S, we only add the apostrophe, okay? Yes. If our noun is plural and ends with S, only add the apostrophe, okay? With the other ones, apostrophe S. But with plural nouns ending in S, only add apostrophe, yes. okay? Either number yes. five. Number five, who said that? Albert. No, Aaron. Aaron. Okay, Aaron, tell me yeah. number five. Uh, the Smith car is red. Uh, we only add the apostrophe. Okay. Because In this case, have, yes. we have the Smith uh, is the name of a family. The Sagastume, the Mejias, the Martinez, the... Um, um, Cardonas, the um, Lopez. Okay, so it's a, the name of a family. And ends in S. So when we are talking about names, remember that I told you we add apostrophe S, but, all, but if the name ends in S, we can also 
We can use both of them, apostrophe S or only the apostrophe, and both of them are going to be correct with names. Look in here, that's meets, and we, we, I added only the apostrophe, but if you add apostrophe S like this, ouch, I cannot write this, apostrophe S like that, it's going to be okay. Both of them are correct. No, I'm not correct. Both of them is correct. Las dos son correctas. But only in this case, it's a name, okay. it's a proper name that ends with S. So we can add apostrophe or apostrophe S, both of them. Number six, the children toy is broken. Children. I miss. Tell me. Children with apostrophe S. Excellent. Children with apostrophe S because we are talking about a plural noun that does not end with S. So we add apostrophe S. Excellent. Number seven, Tamika. Our work is beautiful. Maria Jose, what, how do you do that one in possessive? Tamika, our, our work is beautiful. Number seven in one hundred. Tamikas. Tamikas. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Tamikas with apostrophe s. Tamika is maybe a girl. So with names we add that do not add any s. We add apostrophe s. Tamikas artwork is beautiful. And the last one, number eight. Sasha Garden is huge. Sasha is another proper name. No. Only apostrophe yes, or apostrophe S? Only apostrophe. Look at the end of that of that name, Sasha. With apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. Remember with singular. We have to add apostrophe S. Sasha's garden is huge. Okay, do you have it? Did you correct the one that you had different? Yes? Hello? Okay, so may I continue with the other page? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yes. So Here's said homework, but it's not her homework. Okay. The possessive adjectives, guys, remember that come before the nouns. And you have to remember that if you are using I, the possessive adjective for I is my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, they, their, okay? Cada, cada pronoun tiene su possessive adjective. So that is what you have to remember in here. For example, we are going to read only two examples. I'm a hard worker. My job is important. Here you are using I, because you are talking about yourself. So you say my. Job is important because you are talking about you, uh, your job. I'm a hard worker. My job is important. Now let's see with she, for example. She is smart or she is smart. Her parents are proud. Her because we are talking about she. So what you have to remember is this one, all these. For I, you are going to use my, for you, your, he, his, and so on. And another thing that you have to remember is that possessive adjectives come before the nouns. Look, here we have the possessive adjective, here we have the noun. Possessive adjective, noun, your class, his paintings, her parents, it's for our football team. So if you can see, in all of these cases, we have 
the possessive adjective first and then the noun. And in here we have whose, the word that I told you. Whose is a word that we use to make questions. For example, if we want to know who is the owner of something. For example, it's very common that in classes the teacher says, who's this pencil? Guys, or uh, Danielle, who's this? Who's this? Who's, who's this pencil? Who's this, uh, who's this cell phone? Who's this book? Who's this uh, notebook? So whose is a word that you ask, uh, sorry, that you use to ask for the owner of something that uh, you do not know who's the owner. For example, in this sentence, whose car is new? O el carro de quien is new? Whose car is new? Uh, and the answers can be Joyce car is new or only Joyce. By saying Joyce, you are saying the car of Joe is new. So, guys, do you understand this part of possessive adjectives and whose? So you, we can continue in the other page and with this one we finish? Yes. Yes? Okay, so what do you have to remember of this page? Possessive adjectives are this one that you have in this column and they come before the nouns. Whose are when you want to ask about the owner of something. Who's this pen? Who's this eraser? Who's this marker? Or whose marker is black? Whose marker is bad? Okay, so let's go to page 105, exercise B3, and we are going to do B4, and that is all, and you are not going to have homework for the other week. Okay, so in B3, you have a, some words that you have to order to make sentences, and we have the example in number one. We have major whose engineering is. In B, we have biology whose is. And we have here the example whose major is engineer, engineering, engineering whose is biology. What difference can you notice between these two answers, uh, two questions, sorry? They are related, but they have a difference. Can you look for the difference? Can you find the difference? The nouns. The nouns. Ah, okay. Abby is saying in number one, for example, we have major and, um, and the position of the noun. The word major is in the first one, but not in the second one. Why? Why do you think it's in the first one and in the second, no? Because it describes Okay, let me first explain you what is major. Major is like the area of a study of a person. So in this case, we are asking whose major is engineering? So, ¿Quién se ha especializado en ingeniería? Okay, whose major is in engineering? So, I, and I, and some, ah, okay. And whose biology? Ah, eh, those two that are in there. Ah, okay. So if you see, in here we are not using major again because in the first sentence we are ready, in the first question we are ready did it. For example, I can say, whose, um, let me place by here. Let me let me say that this is Abby. Here we have Daniel. 
And by here we have Aaron. Only Aaron. And Abby and Daniel have markers, and their markers are black. Remember this. And Aaron has another marker, but Aaron's marker is red. Ah, so I'm going to do something. This is black. And Aaron's marker is red. Okay? So, I will ask, guys, whose marker is black? Whose marker is black? What are you going to answer? Abby's Abby, marker. Abby and Daniel's marker are black. Or Abby's marker is black. Okay? So, listen. Guys, whose marker is black? Abby's marker. Ah, okay. Thank you, guys. And who's red? Who's red? Aaron's marker. Aaron's marker. So, did you see that I didn't say, and whose marker is red? It's because I already asked about the markers in the first question. So, in the second question, I only say, ah, okay, who's red? You, are no, you already know that I'm talking about the markers. So the same in here. In here, in number one, this person is talking about the area of specialization or the area of study. Whose major is engineering? Uh, Abby. Ah, okay, and who's biology? Uh, Michelle. If you see, here we do not ask again for the major because in, we did it in the first one. That is what we have to do in number two, three, four, and five. So let's do all together because we are learning all together. In number two, car, whose is new? Which one is the sentence, the question that we can form with those words? Car, whose is new? Whose car is new? Excellent. Whose car is new? Whose car is new? Okay. And as, as we already are talking in here about car, we already know in that we are talking about car. So what is the... Okay, Ariana said that she couldn't continue in the class. Okay. What is the question in B? O whose is? Um, What can, what can be the question in there? Whose is all? Okay, there we have it. Whose is all? Why? Because we already know that we are talking about car. In number two, we have who, whose car is new? Adam's car. Ah, okay. And whose is all? Ah, the Miss Novias is all. <laughs> okay. Okay, so... If you see, in the first one, we introduce what we are talking about, and in the second one, we don't, because we already know that we are talking about cars. So let me see number three. This month, whose is birthday? Which one is the sentence? Tell me, I, I want a boy to tell me this sentence, this question. This month, okay, tell me. Whose is this month's birthday? Okay, Let, let's see the structure. First we have whose, then we have the noun, then we have is and the rest. So here we have to have first whose and then what? Whose birthday is this month? Excellent. Just Albert, I think it was Albert the first time, right? Just you have to move birthday to say whose birthday is this month because you are asking about the birthday. Whose birthday is this month? Ah, this month in June is um, Albert and Anna's birthday. So what is the next, sent the next question in here in B?
food is next month. Okay. In the next one, I, I want some someone else, for example, Anna, eh, the other one that have not participated, okay? Because I, Maria Jose, I need you to participate. If Serrato is here, I need Serrato to participate, Axel, the other ones, okay? So, um, Abby was okay. Whose is next month? Whose what? Whose birthday? But as we have it in the first one, it's not necessary to write it in the second one. Okay? So let's see number four. Someone else different from Aaron, different from Albert, Daniel, and Abby, because they have been participating. So someone different from day four. Whose large family is? It can be Savillon, it can be Diego Velázquez, it can be Ana or Michelle or someone else, Maria Jose, someone else. I in miss. Peace. I miss. Okay, Michelle, tell me, whose large family is? Or who said miss yo? I miss because Diego. Okay, Velázquez. Diego Velázquez, tell me. Whose family is large? Excellent. Whose family is large with eight members or more? Whose family is large? So which one is the, the other question? No, you yeah. have. Uh, tell me, Diego, always. Which one is the, the next question in B? If, number, if A is whose family is large, what is B? Who's, who is small? Who is small, okay. Whose family is large? And who is small? Who what? Who family, because we are talking about family. Excellent. And the last one in this part, apartment is near school whose? What can be the question in here? Whose apartment is near school? Excellent. Whose apartment is near school? First whose, then the noun that we are asking for, and then the rest. Whose apartment is near school? Um, Danielle's apartment is near school. And the other question has to be how? The last one. Who is far? And whose is far? Mine is far. I live very far from school. Whose is far? Okay. So, do you have it, guys? Do you have that? Or may I move to the other part of the same page? Yes. All of you? Yes. Okay. Be sure you have what we have been working right now because you are not going to have homework, but right now before, um, after ending the class, you have to send me the pictures of the pages that we were working here. So this is the last part and we finish with this. And this is about um, possessive adjectives. Do you remember the table for I, you have to use my. For he, you have to use his, she, her, we, our. So that is, dear Keiko, good news. Jenny and I are finally in, in parenthesis, we have we, look. In parenthesis, you have we. So what ad possessive adjective do, do you have to use? Our. Good news, Jenny. Good news, Jenny and I are finally in our new house. This house isn't big, but it's pretty. My best friend and, and what possessive adjective can you have to use instead of he? And I. For he, what is the possessive adjective that you have to use? His. His. My best friend and his, 
wife are next door. Then we have they. The son is in the same school. So what is, what is the possessive Later. adjective? Which one? Their. 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 Their son is in the same school as we son or instead of we. What is that? My son. What is the possessive adjective for we? Our son. Okay, their, their son is in the same school as our son. Jenny, I am reading here, is happy because the house is near, near she office. Near what? What is the possessive adjective for she? Her. Near her office. Excellent. Near her new office. John Bentley. She boss. What is the possessive adjective for she? Her boss or the boss of her. Her boss is a really nice guy. And guess what? He, wife, is in the principle of, what is the possessive for him? His. His. His wife is in the principle of, or is the principal, sorry. His wife is the principal of we daughter's new school. So what is the possessive for we? Uh, our. Our, excellent. Our daughter's new school. How are you and your family? Your, your, your family, great soon, Paulo. So guys, just I want you to see here. You have possessive adjective and the noun that belongs to, to that. Our new house, his wife, our son, her new office. Her boss, his wife, our daughter's new school, your family. Remember, possessive adjectives always, always are going to be before the nouns. So guys, uh, this chapter is very long. Chapter seven is very long. It has until letter F. Generally, the chapters have, the chapter that we have been uh, learning has only a, a, B, and C. But this one has A, B, C, D, F. So it's going to take us more weeks to finish this chapter. So, what we are going to be doing is some reviews for you to not forget possessive adjectives and possessive nouns. But for the next class, you are not going to have a homework because we were um, working a lot today. So the only homework that you have is this one. Look, send me the pictures that we did right now. 101 to 105. If you were here in the class, so you already have them, just take the pictures and send them, send them to me where, or uh, sorry, when? Today, because you already have them. 
So we are going to finish the class. You are going to take the pictures and you are going to send them to me. Simple as that. You don't have to do any more. Just take the pictures and send them to me from 101 to 105. Be careful about that. All those pages because I need to check if you were working. Okay, no homework, but I want to say to see if you were working. So th these ones are going to be points for classwork. And do you have any question, any doubt? About the topic or something else? Do you have any question, guys? No. Okay, so I have a phrase for you. Enjoy every moment of your life. This is a phrase that I'm going to be repeating to you all the classes at the end of each class. Why? Because you have to remember to enjoy every moment of your life. Right now you are young people, you are, teenager, you are teenagers, so you have to enjoy this moment in your life. Okay, so let me um, stop sharing. <laughs> let me see. Okay, here we have it. Um, any question, guys, or not? <laughs> no, me. <laughs> okay, just let me take attendance because I need to see the people that were here today. We had 13. I'm going to take a picture. Just don't leave because I'm going to take the attendance list. Um, okay. Here I have it. Let's see right here. I'm going to read the names that I have in the class. Um, Aaron, Albert, Michelle, Ariana, Axel, Chelsea, Daniel, Diego. Fernando Savillón y Velázquez, Yvette, Juan Carlos, María, Natalie Nieto. Are the ones that I have in here. In Chelsea, what? Ah, Chelsea is here. Okay. So, um, guys, remember the ones that have problems with the platform. If someone else, someone of your classmates tell you that he or she has problems, Tell that person, that classmate, to call or to write to Mr. Christian or to Miss Giovanna to solve the problems for you to have access. So remember Aaron, remember Albert and Maria Jose to write to your teacher, Giovanna or Christian. Better Christian because he he's the one that is solving the problems of the platform and tell them Tell her uh, him that you need to access the platform as a student, not as not as a um, guest. Okay. So if you don't have doubts or questions, I will ask you to finish the call because I need to download the video, and it's possible only if you finish the call. So bye, guys. Enjoy your day, your other classes, send me the pictures, and please eh, hand up the, the call. Cuelguen la llamadita, allí en el icono rojo para yo poder descargar. Bye, Miss. Bye. Bye, Aaron. Bye, Bye. Axel. Ah, Axel was here, okay. Bye, Miss. Bye. Bye. It's missing Ariana Daniela. Okay. Okay. Natalie Nieto. 
And Ariana Daniel, are you here yet? Uh, 